But do you know what else it is? It's all the weird, creepy sex stuff. It bothers people. Target right now is selling weird transgender stuff for Pride Month, including to kids. Target is teaming up with Tomboy X. The Tomboy X collection includes, this is at Target, a major retailer, chest binders. Chest binders is when women put on very restrictive bras, I guess, to make it look like they don't have breasts. Packing underwear. I don't know exactly what that is, but I think I have a feeling. And yuck. Bras, boy shorts in sizes small through 4X, as every size that there is. Uh, they've got swimsuit styles, bustle reported, binders and gender affirming, sw- gender affirming swimsuits, which means gender denying swimsuits, are notoriously difficult to find, particularly in extended sizes. This accessible drop will make shopping for everyday garments easier. Yes, this is the top issue in our country right now, right? So we, we need to make sure that morbidly obese sexual deviants can, can put on clothing that makes them play dress up and pretend to be the opposite sex. That's, that's what Americans care about. That's a real dinner table issue, wouldn't you say? No, it's not. It's not. And it's weird. And not only is it weird and kind of unusual, and so therefore people are resistant to it, but it's actually wrong. They're, they're pumping this kind of propaganda into our kids as well. Kids items in the Target Pride collection include toddler tees that proclaim trans rights are human rights and shirts emblazoned with pronouns, uh, with uh, rainbow merchandise, toddler books that include Bye Bye Binary and the pronoun book. This is just disgusting. This is just awful. And we should pass laws against it to stop Target from doing it. Okay. The the slogans of, of the last 10 years of a kind of feckless, squishy conservatism would have said, well, you know, Target's a private company. And uh, if you don't want uh, mega international corporations transgendering your children, well, then build your own Target. You have absolutely no right to tell Target that they can't transgender your kids. Yes, we do. We do have that right. Target doesn't have some kind of constitutional right to trans the kids. We, the people, do have the rights as a political community to stop pervert corporations from transgendering our kids. We do have that right. We can say no. No. Weird transgender stuff for kids is, is illegal. Boom. Done. Pass me that law. Where can I, where can I find that law? You know, we did, we did the Dr. Fauci public health protection pledge. I just floated this idea on my show that I said, I won't vote for a federal candidate in 2022 who doesn't promise to get rid of Dr. Fauci to zero out his, his salary. And then it spread like wildfire and a ton of candidates and a ton of sitting members of the Congress signed onto it. And then all of a sudden Dr. Fauci went away. (laughs) Kind of interesting timing. Not saying uh, it was Directly responsible, but I'm not saying it wasn't either. Well, okay, let's bring up the next bill. The uh, Stop Pervert Corporations from Transgendering Our Kids bill. It's not a violation of the First Amendment. It's not a violation of the emanations or the penumbras or anything else. We have the right to standards in this country. And we have a right to stop these sick predators from perving on our kids and selling all sorts of deviant stuff in our major retailer stores. It's just, this is not an extreme view of mine. Okay. This is a view that would have been shared by 100% of the population five years ago, three years ago. And it's a view that the majority of Americans continue to support today. Okay. This is how you explain the parents movement in Virginia. That's how Glenn Youngkin got elected is because parents didn't want weirdos transing their kids and, and filling their heads with racial ideologies. This is how you explain the parents movement in Florida. Okay. This is how you explain the, 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 the vast the, the extreme popularity of this kind of an issue. Wh- what is it? Explain to me why, why it's so wrong to trans the kids. Explain to me why it's so wrong to have this kind of public religious worship of weird sexual ideologies. I could explain to you why that is. I think a, a lot of you out there could articulate in words why this stuff is so wrong, but you actually don't need to. And I think for the majority of parents and the majority of Americans who oppose this stuff, maybe they can't articulate exactly why it's, it's so wrong to sell chest binders and, and what is it, Un- boxer packing, packing underwear and, and bye-bye binary books to toddlers. They might not be able to articulate exactly why it's wrong in precise philosophical terms, but they just know it's wrong. It's called the wisdom of repugnance, and they're right. The late conservative philosopher Roger Scruton, he said the job of the conservative intellectual is to articulate the sorts of things that ordinary people know intuitively. Okay. And 
ordinary, regular old run-of-the-mill people who are going about their lives and their families and their business and don't have time to focus on all the creepy predations of political activists all day long. They just know it's wrong. We should run on, it's just like abortion. Well, it's, di- it's different than abortion. They're, they're separate issues in the substance, but the political effect is the same. The squishes and the establishmentarians believe that oh, we shouldn't touch the trans, don't touch LGBT Q, transing the toddlers. Don't touch it. It's a culture war issue. Just run on the economy. No stupid. No one cares. About, we care about the economy. We care about tax rates. We even sort of care about marginal tax rates, but nowhere near as much as we care about these creeps transing our kids. Run on that. Don't run away from pro-life. Run on pro-life. It's a winning message. Don't run away from th- this insane sexual revolution stuff. Run on it. This is a winning message. People care about their culture. They care about their standards. And we have a right to, to a public culture that is sane and that, that, does not, that, that does not encourage this kind of bizarre behavior that is extremely destructive to everyone that it touches. It is time for Republicans to pounce. You know, this is what happens. Every time the libs do something wrong and then conservatives criticize them for it, what is the headline in the newspaper? The headline is Republicans pounce. Liberals hold ritual human sacrifice. And that's not the headline. The headline is Republicans pounce on liberal religious display. (laughs) Republican, they're always pouncing. Those Republicans, they just pounce everywhere. I don't know. It's something about our knees. I don't know. We're so good at pounce. Well, guess what? Now is the time to pounce in the political arena on issues that are big winners for all of us. 